to Layla Land. I interrupt your regular Layla -la -la scheduled broadcasts um, to bring you a very, very, very quick video, which I thought you might find useful. Why is there like cat hair going everywhere? Is there a cat been asleep on my top or something? I mean. Um, so a friend of mine was messaging me yesterday, hello you gorgeous little thing you, um, about eyeliner and saying she was really, really struggling with a winged eyeliner and did I have any tips? And I figured it would be a really, really quick, really, really easy um, thing for me to just film a video with a couple of the things that I've kind of picked up over the eons of my lifetime um, and just do a very, very quick um, winged eyeliner tutorial thing. I hate saying tutorial because it kind of, I feel like it looks like to you like I'm saying I'm the expert on it and I'm not at all I just put it on my face occasionally so this is how I do it and this is how I've learned is the best way to do it um somebody else who's done an epic uh, eyeliner tutorial is Kami MUA so go and check that out um if you want to as well um but there are just a couple of things that I think will make it easier and a couple of things that I used to do that I assumed was the way to do it because it just seemed like it would be the way to do it and I do it backwards now and that's totally loads easier so I'm gonna zoom you in I'm literally just gonna show you how I do a wing on one eye and then that's it so we're gonna be dead dead quick so the first thing that's important obviously is which eyeliner are you using um so we kind of had a, a chat backwards and forwards and I was like don't use liquid don't use this don't use that and my friend was just like well what's left um so the different type of eyeliners we've got We've got um, the liquid eyeliner, like this NYX, um, the vinyl thing. Yeah, vinyl liquid liner. This one is awesome. If you, when you get confident with liquid liner, this one is my favorite one. It's just shiny and it's the blackest black ever. I love it so much. So this one has got kind of the screw top and it's got the brush there that you kind of dip in and out of. Um, this one is a bit trickier. I feel like you've got a bit less control and obviously it's wet. Um, so kind of as you're learning or as you're um, just building up your confidence with liquid liner, uh, with eyeliner in general, I wouldn't start with a liquid liner, but definitely, definitely do get one as soon as you feel able to because they're amazing and the effects is re are really good and you can get lots of different coloured ones as well. So yes, so that's one type. Another type that you probably will be, if you're new to eyeliner, the most familiar with is the Cole Pencil. Um, again, it's another NYX one. Um, and yeah, we've literally just got the pencil. Now these, I don't like for a winged eyeliner because I don't find you can get them as precise. They're very smudgy. Um, I love a liner like this for water lining. So um, the inside of your line there inside of your lower lid there um which just makes your eyes look just absolutely epic um but yeah as in terms of your upper lid and doing it for a wing just i don't bother with these at all i don't find them very good or very easy to use don't know what's going on outside but it's too hot to close the windows so please please accept my sincerest apologies um these are also really good for a really cool like smudged out kind of smoky look so let me know in the comments if you want me to do that one as well because that one is so effective and the easiest thing in the world all you need is one of these in a cotton bud <gasps> done so that's that one sorry leonard um as well as the pencils you can also get coal liners in these kind of uh self self-sharpening kind of wind up wind back down and put your lid on options this one is a collection one i think oh no this is a b one from super drug well that's all going on isn't it but the one we are going to focus on today is the super cat from soap and glory this one is your felt tip liner and this is the one that is going to be the easiest to use especially when you're starting out and especially when you're not very confident with a winged liner but you want to practice and you still want to look good so this one will give you precision but it'll give you that depth of color as well and it'll give you 
just a really nice line um but you can be a little it's, a, it's just more forgiving than the liquid ones as well so let's get on with it right so i'm gonna zoom you really really in so hopefully you can like see my eye properly and see exactly what i'm doing so don't be scared okay you'll be all right there we go can we all see now so we want to have um a mirror i've got my little handheld mirror here or you can just put yourself um like a palette on your dressing table to look down into the mirror we want to take our um, liner, take the lid off, obviously. Okay, so we're going to start with the wing. But we're going to start the wing from the lower lash line. So a lot of people tend to just draw the line from there all the way across and just try and flick it out in one move. One, you don't need to do that. If you break it down into steps and join them up, it looks so much better, is a lot quicker and is a lot easier. Two, if you try and take that flick from your upper eyelid, you will always miss the very, very corner of it there, which actually shortens your eyes and makes them look smaller. So what you want to do is actually go from your lower lash line because you will actually get this bottom corner and it will work so much better. So you look down into your mirror, look from your bottom lash line and literally... I mean, at this point, it's up to you as to which direction you want your flick to go in, how big you want it to be, whether you've got the kind of deep eyes or the hooded eyes or not. As a general rule, kind of follow the shape there and just extend that line because what's that gonna, what that's going to do is just give you that nice, long, almond-shaped eye. So that's what we'll do today. So we literally, from the bottom lash line, angle the pen and just extend the line up there. Okay? So that's step one. Done. Okay? Right. So now, don't bother again with this bit, but now I want you to start, not from the top, because that's another mistake people make. They think they need to go from the, the point there right the way down. You want to start about two thirds of the way up that line. So about a third of the way down, you want to look down into your mirror and you, you kind of want to take that down towards your lash line, okay? Okay, so can we see that? Okay, so now we've got that section done. If you have a look, you now need to go and get from the middle, from the uh, inner corner, sorry, and join that away over. But now we've actually got that line down there, we've got somewhere to aim for. So again, look down. And my friend was talking about the really struggle to get the, the line as low down as possible. So my top tip is literally draw on your eyelashes. I rest the pen, because I've got long eyelashes, I rest the pen on my eyelashes and kind of slide it back onto the lid almost. So again, you want to hold it quite close and I'm resting my little finger on my cheek to give it that stability. So I'm looking down and I'm literally putting it, can you see, on my lashes. And I'm going up to the line, up to the lid. And I'm just moving that across and just use the very, 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 very end of that nib. It's not going to focus, is it? Excuse me, ma'am, please focus. Whatever, don't focus then. But I'm using the very, very point of that to get right in. As soon as I start doing that, I'm just going to draw a big thick line. So I want to angle it and I'm just using the very, very point. So we're now just going to go and join that up. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go and colour in that block there. Okay, so when I look down, that looked absolutely fine. When I look straight on, I'm still seeing a little bit that's just not quite as neat as I want it to be and that's again because I've got an eyebrow that I can't control if my eyebrow stayed up that wing would be absolutely fine but because it comes back down again um I need to just neaten it up but then again you'll just go in and just neaten those edges up
So all I've done there is just gone back along that line. Do you remember when we went, when we'd done the wing, the initial line, and then we went two thirds of the way down and drew another line towards the lashes? All I've done is done that again until it feels a bit neater. Now again, because I've just gone down to the lash line, that's left me a little bit there that needs joining up. So because we did it so thin, just on the lashes, I can now afford to go back in and join it up to that extra bit without it starting to look too thick. So that's what we'll do now. So there we go. Once you're happy with that straight on, and you're happy with that sort of from the side, there you go, you're done. Right, let me zoom you back out again. There we go, that is one perfect winged eyeliner. It just takes a couple of steps. And once you get kind of into the routine of what comes next, it is the quickest, easiest, simplest thing ever. Um, so have a go, and there we go. It just, just don't be afraid to just do a section, stop, look at it from a few different angles kind of look straight on see if there's any gaps anywhere see if it disappears in the you know the shape of your eyelid in any creases or any hoods or any depth in that socket um and just sort of adapt it to what you want really but yeah my top top absolute tip is start from your lower lash line not the top one start from the outer edge not the inner edge and start bringing your wing in towards your lash line, not from the top of your wing. So always start about a third of the way down that line. Do not start at the very, very edge. Um, so yeah, practice and practice and practice with a pen. Once you feel better at that, try um, some liquid liner and see how you get on. Um, but just practice. I mean, let's face it, there's no rules um, whatsoever. Find a way that works for you, play around and just see how you like it and see what works for you. And just go from there. There are no rules for makeup. Let's just let's just all remember that. It's meant to be fun and it's just meant to be an expression of you. It's not meant to be, you know, kind of a regimented system that everybody has to look exactly the same and done in exactly the same way. So just have fun. Don't get stressed about it. You're all beautiful, no matter whether you've got makeup on or not. Um, so yeah. I just hope that's helped a little bit and you've maybe found some tips. Uh, make sure you give this video a quick share for me. That would be amazing. Just click the share button, share it to Twitter, share it on your WhatsApp groups, share it on your Facebook pages. Make sure to tag me if you do share because that would be lovely. Make sure you go down there and subscribe. Hello to new subscribers, by the way. Where have you all come from this week? That's been wonderful. Um, so yeah, go and like this video. Thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.